Hello guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at creating virtual hosts inside Apache on Ubuntu. Uh, now a virtual host is basically just a resolver from a domain name to a location or folder on your server. So go ahead and log into your server and we're going to take a look at how to set this virtual host up. So as you can see I'm already logged in and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cd to etc slash apache2 and I'm just going to hit ls to list all the directories in this folder just to show you so what we got here the two important folders in this case is sites available and sites enabled the sites available contains all our virtual hosts for this server active or inactive sites enabled contains all the active virtual hosts for this server and with active I mean it's currently resolving a domain name to a location on the server uh, an inactive virtual host does no, uh, absolutely nothing at all it's just a text file that or a configuration file uh, that doesn't do anything actively so we're gonna go ahead and cd into the sites available folder it's gonna hit clear to clear this up and we're gonna go ahead and create our first configuration file for the virtual host so we're gonna say sudo nano, I'm using nano as text editor in this case, you can use whatever text editor you prefer. So we're gonna say sudo nano and let's call this mysite.conf and we just got a new configuration file in here. We're gonna start by defining the virtual host and it's just written like this, virtual host. We want to accept any IP coming in on port 80 okay so that's how we open up our virtual host declaration uh, and now this is only listening for HTTP traffic on port 80 which is the default port for HTTP on Apache uh, we will not cover how to listen for uh, uh, HTTPS uh, or TLS as it's called uh, previously SSL secure socket layer uh, now TLS uh, transport layer security we will only cover HTTP traffic alright which runs on port 80 if you would be using uh, or creating a virtual host for virtual host for HTTPS or TLS uh, you would say for example like this virtual host listen for on the port 4 uh, 4 3 3 alright for now let's keep this to for HTTP and then we're just gonna close it off like that and now what we're gonna do the first we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a server admin all right so this is just the email to the administrator for this server it can be anything you want let's say info at oops oops info at mysite.com next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a server name so let's say we have created or registered a domain called mysite.com and we have pointed it to this server's IP all right we would type mysite.com so now this requires you to have some basic knowledge about uh, DNS which stands for domain name servers uh, because as I said in order to get this to work you would have to point mysite.com with an A point to the IP of this server and this virtual host would then resolve the domain name or sorry the URL uh, to the correct location on this folder to the document root which we're going to specify in just a second so that's just a little bit short about DNS, but you need to understand it in order to get this to actually do anything uh, good later. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define a server alias. So let's say server alias. Now let's say perhaps you want to also accept www.mysite.com and that's what the server alias is for, right? So now we can resolve both uh, mysite.com and www.mysite.com. All right, that might be a good idea. Oops. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is define the document root and also be careful about the capital letters here. You need to use capital, capital letters exactly as I'm doing. The document root is the folder where, where um, this virtual host will point to, all right? So when someone's, someone visits mysite.com, this virtual host will point them to a server or a lo location, a directory on the server and show them the content there, serve them the content inside the folder. So let's say document root slash var slash www slash my site. Now this requires you to have a folder called my site inside the var slash w, not for w, just one. Oh, this three. All right, so you would have to have a folder called my site uh, inside the var slash www directory enable in order to, for this to work and just to try it out you can just place an index.html file inside the my site folder all right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define the error log and the access log so let's say error log and then we're gonna use let's use the apache log there slash uh, let's say my site error.log so if any errors occur, occur uh, on your server they will be logged in this directory all right now this uh, apache log there it resolves to uh, the folder var slash log slash uh, apache 2 okay so that's where your logs will be stored now we're also going to save an access log yes to log whoever accesses our server okay so let's call it custom log uh, let's use the apache log there again and let's say uh, my site let's just say access.log and combine because it's a combined file all right so just to recap here, we created a virtual host right here, which uh, accepts any IP coming in on port 80. We set up a server admin with just an email. We set the server name, uh, in other words, the domain name that will be resolved to the document root, which we set right here. Right, then we set up the error log and the custom log. And finally, we're closing off the virtual host. So nothing special. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, save this file and activate it. Now I won't be able to test this out because, or show you uh, the domain name actually resolving to this folder uh, because I don't own this uh, domain. This is just an example how to set up the actual virtual host, all right? So now we're gonna hit CTRLO to save the file. And then hit enter and get out of the file. It's gonna hit clear. So now we just created the virtual host, but it's not active yet. So it's uh, actually not doing anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, sudo a2 and site for enable site and the site we want to enable is mysite.conf or the configuration file we want to enable is mysite.conf all right hit enter and as you can see enabling site my site all right to activate the new configuration you need to run system re reload apache 2 all right so you can also just say sudo service apache 2 restart so that's it now or mysite.conf is an activated virtual host running on our server uh, accepting any IP coming in on port 80 so HTTP traffic not HTTPS traffic uh, you would need certificates uh, in order to use HTTPS traffic as well so we are doing it with HTTP in this example and uh, in order to deactivate 
this uh, virtual host if you would ever want to deactivate it you would say sudo e2 this site my site .conf. and as you can see site my site is able to activate the new configuration blah 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 so sudo service apache to restart and the um, virtual host is now deactivated so that's how you create a virtual host in apache to resolve domain names to locations on your server bye bye